Lonnie and his 16-year-old son, Leron, was en route to Memphis for a basketball game. Lonnie Taylor, 68-year-old military retired veteran who owns multiple rental properties in his hometown, Texas. Leron Taylor, 16 years old, just got his driving license two weeks ago. He was excited to ride with his dad to go watch the Lakers play Memphis. Dad was driving his 2021 Mercedes-Benz, black on black, no class. This car was the principal, and Dad never drives his car unless it's a special occasion. Leron leaning back and enjoying the smooth, comfortable ride when his dad pulls over to a quick trip station for some gas. Leron leans up, takes off his headphones, and exits the car and walks into the gas station to use the restroom. Dad tops off the gas, sits in the passenger seat, and waiting for Leron to return. Leron walks off the gas station. He didn't see his father sitting on the driver's side of the vehicle as he approached the car. Leron walks to the passenger side and he observes his father sitting there smiling as he motioned Leron to go to the driver's side of the vehicle. Leron was looking in shock as he slowly walks around and enters his Mercedes. What's going on, Dad? asked Leron as he sat motionless. Well, son, you're going to drive us into town. It's only two hours away. So go ahead, let's get going, stated Dad as he leaned back in his seat and opened up his newspaper. Leron adjusted his seat and mirrors to his liking and proceeded off the lot. He then adjusted the radio to the channel of his desire. Dad glanced and smiled as a proud father. Leron continued driving on the interstate, relaxing to the electric vehicle when a couple of raindrops hit the windshield. Leron ignored it and kept driving. Then a few more splashes landed on the windshield. Leron activated the wipers and delayed control. Looks like we're going to get a little rain, steady dad in a calm voice. Yeah, it looks that way, answered Leron in a nervous voice. Then about 15 minutes of driving, the rain increased and Leron slowed down. Just relax, son, it's just a little rain, steady dad as he continued reading the newspaper without even looking up. Then the thunder and lightning began. The wind increased dramatically. Cars began to exit the highways, Leron concentrated on the road. The windshield wipers on full speed and Leron can barely see in front of him. Dad, you think we should get off? Asked Leron. No, son. Just relax and keep driving. And listen to my voice. Stated Dad as the storm increased more. Dad, the trucks are pulling over now. Advised Ryan as the thunder struck loudly. Keep going, son. Trust me. Keep going. Stated Dad as he folded up the newspaper and sipped on his coffee. The wind and thunder alone with the frightening lightning made Leron want to pull over against his dad's advice. After three miles of driving through the severe storm, the weather began to slightly clear up. Leron glanced through the rearview mirror and took a deep breath. The sun appeared slowly through the clouds and Lonnie motioned Leron to pull over. Leron pulled over to the side of the highway looking confused. Okay, son, get out. Or the daddies, they both exit the Mercedes. Now look behind you. What do you see? Asked Dad as he leaned on the car. Well, I see some dark clouds and some lightning, stated Leron. Okay, look closer. I want you to notice the same thing that happens on the road is what happens to people in life, stated Dad. Leron stood looking at all those cars stuck back on the highway. He shook his head. All those cars that we passed, Dad, are still stuck in the storm, stated Leron. Correct, son. So you're going to go through storms in life. Maybe be financial storms, relationship storms, educational storms, but you gotta keep driving. Keep swinging. The rich man and the homeless man encountered the same storms. All storms will pass eventually. So let's get back on the road because we got a game to catch. Stated dad as he motioned Leron to get back in the driver's seat. Both guys re-entered the Mercedes and proceeded down the highway with Leron behind the wheel. Dad began to search for his radio station. Think big live broadcast. And they both began to listen to the speech that was on the radio station. Everything is seasonal. That means no matter what you go through, it cannot last. Storms are natural. Storms are temporary. There is not one permanent hurricane. Storms are always moving. Every storm in life is moving. Storms force change. Don't curse a storm. Storms confirm how strong you are. So be an eagle, the king of birds, the only bird God identified himself with. Because the eagle understands storms. Eagle welcomes all storms because the storms makes the eagle wings stronger to increase the height so he can rest above the storm. Never trust a person.